Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDC Joe video. Today, guys, I'm showing off my crazy busted Mill Tank expanded deck here. Now, Mill Tank has the attack Milk Cannon, which for three energy does 60 damage. You reveal any number of Moo Milk in your hand and does 60 damage for each card revealed in this way. So the whole idea of this attack and deck is that we're trying to put four Moo Milks in our hand. Moo Milk is an item card that you choose when your Pokemon flip to coins. Reach hedge move three damage not a bad healing card we're not trying to heal our pokemon though we are just trying to put them in our hand now the big downside of this combo is your opponent can always spam n and marnie however we got my low tick in the format my low tick makes it so that your opponent cannot enter marnie your hand away so the whole idea of this deck is you try to get movement milks in your hand through cards like nine tails of this mysterious guidance which allows you to get two items when you evolve it in from vulpix we get two movement milks and we just build up our hand with movement milks we got four movement milks in our hand mill tank does 240 damage if we add a choice to that we do 270 which KOs a lot of tag team pokemon we also use whitney as our draw engine now whitney's really cool because you draw a card and then draw two cards for each other whitney in your discard pile if you have three whitney's in your discard pile you are drawing seven cards and you're just building up a massive hand we're drawing seven cards of whitney and then we just build up a humongous hand we got my low tick in place so we never lose our hand and as long as we don't lose our hand we have basically all the options in the world to play whatever we want to counteract when our opponent knocks out our mill tank and that is the whole idea of this deck i am using tapu koko prism star to build up my mill tank also raihan helps us out too in the late game and this deck is really fun to play so for the video course out to the sponsor card kevin tcg as always guys if you're ever looking for any pcgo codes make sure to get them over at Card Cabin. Card Cabin sells codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys are looking to get sets like Fusion Strike, Evolving Skies, Celebrations, Chilling Rain, or any other PDCGO code, like any promo GX or V code, get them over there. If you're looking for IRL Pokemon TCG singles, Card Cabin does sell them too. Again, thing at Card Cabin, guys, at the checkout, use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your order. Help channel, help yourself out, and help out Card Cabin. So big shout out to Card Cabin. Check them out. Use code LDF. This is the list that I am playing for the Mill Tank deck, as you guys can see. Now, the other build that I thought of was playing the Mew D-Valley build. So instead of just using Coco Prism to build up your uh, Mill Tank and stuff, you use Mew with Dimension Valley, where then with a Dimension Valley in play, Mew can copy a Mill Tank's attack for just a single Twin or DCE. That build isn't bad. You get more options. You get access to like Cramorant, Clefairy and stuff. But I like this build a little bit more. And one of the cool things about it is Whitney. Now, actually, somebody, some people did point out in chat when I was playing this deck, would Roxy just be better? Would Roxy lets you draw, you know, six cards if you're discarding two Pokemon. And that's not bad. You can also play with Weezing, so then you're doing the extra 10 damage, which could help against stuff like ADP. But Whitney actually goes well with Miltank, because it's quite literally, you know, Miltank's card is Whitney. On top of that, you also get access to drawing seven cards. Yes, Whitney draws you seven cards if you have three Whitney's in your discard pile, right? You're drawing six with the three Whitney, and then you draw the extra card. That's one more card than Roxy, which is actually really, really beneficial. Um, and also the the Mew D Valley build I had that uh, it didn't have access to Nine Tails. I couldn't find room for the Nine Tails. Nine Tails is really good in here because getting two items is insane, as allowing you to get so many combos. You can even use it to get like Battle Compressor via Seeker for your um, Whitney. You can also just flat out get two Moo Moo Milks, which is really insane. Nine Tails is one of the best cards in this deck. Of course, we prize a Moo Moo Milk. We do have Gladian in the deck to try to get it. I like this more than Peonia because a lot of the time Peonia you don't even guarantee the Moo Moo Milk or the whatever you prize. Of course, Marshadow and Mew are extra types to use. Mew will help you against Mew 2, Mew Tag Team GX, and then Marshadow helps you against those dar uh, Fighting Week Pokemon like Greninja Zoark and uh, what else? Eternus VMAX, I guess. I don't know. Any Fighting Week Pokemon in Expanded. And Blissey is another big one, actually. Deck is a lot of fun to play. Um, super cool. I think my Lotic has a lot of untapped potential in Expanded. I know Trainer Chip did this really cool Exodia deck that basically came together because of my Lotic's ability. But my Lotic has a lot of potential and expanded. I think there's a lot of really good ways you can make my Lotic theoretically work. And uh, this is one of the ways I thought of that might actually be kind of busted. Also, there's a new Vesquin and Honey card coming out in the set after Brilliant Stars in our May set. And it does the exact same thing. You're doing 60 damage for each of the Honeys in your hand. So let's try out Miltank and body some people with Whitney's Miltank. Okay, going second, which is totally fine. If we can pop off with like a good hand, we're chilling. And I wouldn't really call this a great hand, though. I can grab Crobat with Battle Compressor via Seeker, though. Or Stretcher, which I might do. See what we're playing against here. A Fire deck. Hopefully we can draw into a... Um, a via Seeker would be ideal. So we can go Whitney. Jockster card. Perfect. All right. Baller hand. We're playing against Blissey. Okay. We got Marshadow, which is hopefully not prized. And they might play Dunsparce, but... We're also just throwing a bunch of fat cows in their face. We could just, like, hit, 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 hit. It's like, yeah, you're Blissey. You might be able to one-a-KO tag teams and VMAXs, but it won't do so well against Miltank's 
as long as we're not having insane healing cards, so that's good. This hand has potential to not be... Well, we could get a Donk. Oh, that was an insane draw. Hopefully, we don't prize a Whitney. We got all our milks. We didn't prize a Whitney. Perfect. All right, now, we actually might have a Donk here, especially when we can get Computer Surge via Seeker. Whitney, let's get it. Oh, we got one Moo Moo Milk. No! Damn it. Oh, so close. So close. We actually almost had a Donk. All right, we got a lot of going on. So let's quick ball this away. Might have to grab another Fee Bass. We're going to have to just play it slow this turn. Fine by me. We'll play it. We'll play it slow here. We'll play it slow. I'll grab Vulpix here too. We're going to do another Whitney next turn, assuming all goes well. Grab Vulpix for Nine Tails. Play the Compressor. Get a Ranger. Do Lightnings. Now, if they play Path to Peak, I can grab Field Blower. So we'll have to see if they have it. Because if we should lose our Coco's ability, that'll suck. That was a really good start, though. That was a nice, that was actually a perfect start. It was just we missed out on getting a thing there with uh, with Marshadow. If we drew... We would have had to get three Moo Moo Milks with Marshadow to KO them, though. Wasn't super likely to get there, but it's fine. We're hoping to keep our hand here. But we can always Mar we can always get Marnie to end into another, you know, Whitney play, obviously. It's not that big of a deal if we do. See what they got, though. Feebass is obviously a goner. They just knock me out with Blissful Blast. It's fine, though. Your boy Feebass. He puts in work. As long as we don't prize our Floatstone, too, we're vibing. We could have prized Floatstone. Hopefully, we didn't. This They're both like a fighting, too, so... I'm going to try to keep Stretcher around for March Shadow so I can use it twice and KO the Slow King and the Blissey. Blissey can't get one shot by Mill Tank. This is why, like... There's a debate going around, like, the Roxy engine might be better than the Whitney engine. Whitney lets you draw seven cards, though. And it goes with a Mill Tank theme. They only put one energy on the Blissey, though. That's not bad. They already have two in the discard, though. Maybe it matters. I don't know. Okay, let's just hope we knock them out here. Three-card hand. Do they have an Enter a Marnie? If they do, that would suck. If they don't, we got my low tick, and then we keep our hand. And then we always have, like, a massive, huge hand here. We'll see what they have. We'll see what they have. Honestly, I should have compressed it away a mill tank, actually. Instead of the ranger. But I don't need ranger at all in this matchup. Okay, they knocked me out. That's fine. Feebas, you did a good job. I mean, we have, like... We're in a really good spot, I feel like. We have, like, complete control. As long as we don't prize our floatstone here, which, honestly, I can't remember if we did or not. If I prize floatstone, I still really can't do much. Let's get my loatic in play. We'll just Whitney again. If I prize Floatstone, I prize Floatstone. I can probably afford to have another turn here where we don't do much. We'll do the Whitney first. Draw seven cards. There's all it is in the deck. Oh, okay. That's a pretty good hand. This is an amazing hand. Holy crap. See what I mean with this deck being like just filthy though? It's so nuts. I love it. I absolutely love it. I just want to get rid of it. There's literally no other card I want to get rid of with this battle compressor. Just a mill tank. And then we'll go here. Kind of a, uh, it's another kind of weak sauce cocoa, though, I will admit. Because I have to get two uh, milks off this. But I can, I guess I can comp computer search for milk. I was going to say, because this is a bit of a weaker hand. So I want to make sure I get two energy put with cocoa. So I'll just do this and then grab another milk tank here. Seems good. We'll get rid of this and probably the crowbat. I really don't think we need it anymore, to be honest. <laughs> I genuinely think crowbat is dead for us. All right, we'll grab another milk tank. And we'll pop the Coco. Insane turn. And they can't get rid of my hand, so my hand will always stay big. And I always keep my Moo Moo Milks. Yeah, let's go. And then we'll go here. Go here. Retreat. And we have Stretcher if they knock me out. And then we'll Milk Cannon. Uno dos tres. Bye bye. See you later, Blissey. And that's how we do it. And they don't knock me out. I have another KO of my own with Stretcher. It's all good. I'm hoping to get Mew off the prize as a Mill Tank. Quick Ball. Alt Ball. Nope, that's not it. Again, we're in a pretty good spot right now. I can even... I mean... If they, like... If they were to ruin me... You know, then I'll just... I can honestly just Guzma the Blissey up and hit it with Miltank, which is totally fine. And then keep Marshadow for a rainy day. If they're playing Slow King VMAX and they put that in play, I mean, we one-shot it with Marshadow. I have another, you know, 
Stretcher coming their way. We're in a really good spot. I also have Raihan. They cannot disrupt my hand. They cannot get rid of my hand at all. They cannot Marnie it or end it. Right? Like, we're just absolutely vibing right now. <laughs> this deck is so cool. See what I mean? When this deck popped off, bro, it is absolutely busted, bro. My low tick genuinely, bro, if you can just look into the combos and expand it for my low tick, definitely look into it, bro. My low tick could be one of the most insane cards to play in the expanded format right now. I'm just saying, bro. It's so much potential. And I'm not even saying this Meltank deck is tier one. Obviously, it's not. It's an insanely fun, broken, busted rogue deck. But my low tick could be honestly insane in something. There's got to be something out there that makes my low tick just insanely good. My low tick has so much potential in expanded. The amount of the card pool is so big, it, there's no way it's not good. I'm tempted to get just Guzma. I can't KO the Blissey, but I can also not get Word of Ruin. So I'm honestly just going to Guzma the Blissey here and just call it a day. You know. Milk Cannon. Probably could have played the Quick Ball, actually. It's fine, though. I might even stretch or shuffle my basics back in if they... Like, we lose... If they milk, knock out Miltank, you know, and I'll go Marshadow next turn. And then they knock out Marshadow, I can stretch or shuffle them back in the deck. And then I get two back instead of just one back. But I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, all we have to do is take out the Slow King and the Blissey to win. And if they ever evolve that into a VMAX, bro, you know, be my guest. Be my guest. I probably should get another Feebass down, though, just in case they could kill my low tick. Um, But yeah, they attack with Blissey here. You know, sure, you can make that Blissey nice and thick, but I'm going to knock you out Milk Cannon. Yeah, it ain't going to matter, bro. I'm sorry. I'm the better pink Gen 2 Pokemon, bro. Uh, now, Milk Tank is the better pink Gen 2 Pokemon. And we're going to probably just Whitney again, right? Just try to get that last Moo Moo Milk out of our deck. Seems Gucci. Grab that Whitney. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to bother Quick Ball. I'm going to save it again. And there's the last Moo Moo Milk. Perfect. Oh, look at this. And then we just Mill Cannon. Ooh, no, those tries. And I, I want to get Mew off the prizes here if I can. Just have that other attacker or Mill Tank. Knock him out here. We'll take our last or a couple last prizes. There's Mew. Perfect. And there's Mill Tank. Perfect. The perfect two prizes. I mean, we basically just can't lose. They cannot stop my Low Tick's ability. So they can't get rid of my hand. And I have Marshadow. They knock me out. I have Marshadow. I can also just one-shot this Slow King anyways with Miltank. The game's just over, I want to say. I, I I genuinely do not think my opponent can win anymore. You know, it was a good effort. You know, if they are playing against a tag team or VMAX stack, you know, they could have put on some pressure, but not against Miltank. And again, I Miltank is the better Gen 2 pink Pokemon in this scenario. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, bro. Miltank's the better Gen 2 pink Pokemon. Oh yeah, now it is game over. They'll Word of Ruin me, and then I'll just Milk Cannon them for 240. Or just retreat to Mar Shadow and Milk Cannon them. Or I can uh, via Seeker with Trainer's Mail, potentially. Naguzma. Oh, they're going to boss me. They're going to bring in Mar Shadow. They could have brought in my Low Tick and made it a little hard on me, but it wouldn't matter. If my Low Tick dies, I'm still going to kill them regardless. And I'll just, move, I'll just Milk Cannon for the knockout. <laughs> what an insane deck. Yeah, you can't get rid of my hand. Not even a chance. And there's the knockout. Nice little dub there. Choice Band and my Low Tick reprised. There we go. That's GG's with the deck. This deck is so busted. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's so fun. It's just so fun. I love it. What do we got on the ladder? Oh, we got the Fusion Strike pack. All right, we got some packs to open up, I guess, which we will happily open. Happily open some packs here. New ladder, by the way, is Togekiss VMAX and Raihan Full Art. Right? Kabu, not Raihan. Kabu. Kabu's not bad. Yo, I just made a video on Quad Metagross. There you go. There's your Full Art Kabu for you. Tokyo's VMAX, I mean, I guess they're preparing us for the next set release. Tokyo's VMAX is going to get a lot better with Billion Stars. Going to get a lot better with Billion Stars. I have a chest to open up, too. Yeah, Tokyo's VMAX is way better when Charon's Care comes out. I'm just saying. All right. Alt Art Mew VMAX? No. That t the vanilla Luxray. What a great pull. Yes, totally. Totally, it was a good idea to put a bunch of filler in the, in the set. All right. We got three chests to open up. The chest, honestly, might be better than the actual pack itself, which is so tragic. That's an already a better rare than that freaking vanilla Luxray. That's insane, bro. <laughs> insane, baby. Yeah, already a better rare than that freaking Luxray, bro. What a... Dude, Fusion Strike is a trash set. Oh, we got a rare. I get three in a row. Damn. Busted. All right, going second, which I'm totally fine with. Especially if we draw really well, we can easily get a turn one donk on them. Maybe. Getting a turn on Mill Tank is pretty good, though. So we'll see what we get there. All right, let's see what we get here. I'm going to Marsh Shadow, Feebass start. How many times did I milk in? Three times, really? Our starting hand isn't even that bad, actually. I'll open up with Feebass. They're playing a Psychic deck. I don't know if Marsh Shadow is very good. This hand has potential to be good, but we need to get a Battle Compressor off of Trainer's Mail. 
And hope Crobat's not prized. Are they playing Fusion Strike Dragapult? Hmm, okay, that's good. I can potentially donk him here. Whitney. I mean, I'll take that, I guess. And we'll Quick Ball Marshadow away. Hmm, do I have... I have my Moo Moo Milks. Whitney's on the deck. Okay, we're gonna have to do this. Do this. Crobat for two. If I get a Battle Compressor here, that'd be pretty baller. We do. Perfect. It's all part of the plan. I did probably have to execute, which is a little annoying, but that's fine. I can get this win, maybe. We have to get a huge mill tank or Whitney here. Oh. We got it, right? I think we got the dub. We can go compressor here. For lightning, lightning, Palladian. Right. And then we play float stone. We quick ball choice band away from mill tank. And that's the dub. Yeah, we won. We got the turn one donk. All right, we'll take it. Let's get it. All right, then we'll dance of ancients to the mill tank. And that's game. Moo Moo Milk. See, Whitney's insane, bro. Whitney's actually insane with mill tank. Just a broken combo. Just a turn one donk. My pony didn't even get to see a second turn, bro. This isn't even like an OTK deck. That's the funny thing about it, bro. We'll take it. High roll off that Crobat. I'll say that. But it was worth it to go for Crobat there because our hand was dead otherwise. All right. We're going to probably go second or first. All right. As long as you don't get like OTK'd, I don't care about going first. This hand is really good. Going first kind of sucks. This hand actually was pretty baller. But I guess Storm of Coco means we can't go Prism Star. Never mind. It wasn't that good. Because we couldn't do Dance of Ancients and go with a turn one mill tank. But the hand is good for next turn. Playing against Archies. Ooh. With Ness and Skyfield. All right. Archies is scary. I am actually going to probably move Coco to the bench here. Because I do want to protect it. We can attack next turn. And there's Whitney. Beautiful. Ooh. And a Moo Moo Milk. Oh, don't mind if I do. Let's go... Do this. All the Moomoo Milks are in the deck. All the Whitney's. We'll get rid of three Whitney's here. And we'll Ultra Ball. Away these two. Do I? I'm at the hard retreat. I can go into Mew. Yeah, go to Mew. Giving up one energy kind of feels bad, but it's fine. I was thinking about getting rid of an Execute there so I can uh, computer search for Light Energy, but... I kind of want to just set up the, the triple Whitney. Especially if we get a Marnie or End or something. I want to get that VF Seeker. I don't mind giving up one energy here. Because if they're playing a you know an Archie stack, they're most likely playing really like heavy hitters. Which means we can just kind of smoke them with Mill Tank and one-shot them. So we probably don't need all the you know energy. We could probably win with just four energy. Super Scoop Up. Uh-oh. What does... Uh, okay. Honestly, the Mew's not a terrible idea to play in an Archie stack. It makes it easier to pull up the Archies. Wouldn't be surprised if they got it here. They might win this turn can they i don't know if they're playing like greninja v union we might be in a bit of trouble uh, we could lose i mean archie's is just a very bonkers deck we'll see we'll see kind of wish we got vulpix down there too yeah definitely i think this deck wants to go second not first actually after playing it for this video i actually think we want to go second most of the time this deck not first i feel yo we can take advantage of that which is actually pretty good okay now, let's see if they get the uh, the turn one Archies here. They do have an Ultra Ball. Oh, they do play Whaler Carp. Oh, crap. That thing's got that towering splash attack. I guess it only does 100 damage, though, which isn't even that bad, but still. A little sus. Mewtwo. Uh-oh. They got it, right? Oh, crap. They actually got the turn one Archies. They have to move the Mew, though. Uh, Now we regret going Mew. We kind of need it for Mewtwo, don't we? I guess they have Stretcher. Uh-oh. I'm actually kind of scared. I'm not going to lie. Hopefully we don't get KO'd here. They got to move the Mew. They've already retreated, so that's good. Wait, they've already retreated, right? I'm pretty sure they have. Pretty sure they retreated. Yeah, they did. Okay. Articuno. That's not good. They can knock out my Mew with Articuno. Okay, they pass. All right. Raihan top deck. All right, we'll play Whitney. Get a lot of stuff. Okay, that's not too bad. A bunch of mill tank. I do have a KO, which I'm going to take. So, I'm going to have to get Compressor here. So, we're going to get rid of Raihan. And... I'm going to my low tick, honestly, is probably going to be the play. Grab Compressor. We'll knock out this. We'll keep our Mew alive. I do stretcher in the deck, right? Yeah, it's in there. All right, good. Rid of two energy and an egg. 
Bench this. Grab Feebas. I could do Crobat too. Nice thing about the Feebas. Can't get knocked out by uh, Whale or Carp's GX deck. Grab Feebas. And then I'll... Pop Coco. The problem with this though is now we have to Raihan to the Mew to attack Mewtwo, which kind of sucks. Feels kind of bad. Uh, but we got Crobat, so it's not the end of the world. I need one Moomoo Milk to KO that. So let's just Milk Cannon here. And the next turn, I can do Crobat. And then I can hopefully end up... Well, we'll get a good prize, hopefully. Feebass, okay. So we can go Crobat next turn and then try to draw into... I'm pretty sure Crobat's in the deck. Try to get Raihan, you know, via Seeker. And then take the KO on the Mewtwo with Mew, which will be the play. We'll see how that goes. I am a little scared of their that Waylord Carp, though. But thankfully, they'd only be able to KO my Mew. Which would suck, but they cannot kill my Mill Tank or my Feebas. My Feebas cannot get KO'd because of its ability. Considering the Sky Field, they also don't have access to um, Silent Lab or anything, which is good. We'll see how this goes. We can still one shot Mewtwo with uh, Mill Tank also. It's not like Mew's like insanely needed because we can always KO the Mewtwo with Mill Tank, obviously, with Choice Band. But they might be playing like Fighting Fury Belt or something. Okay, they play the Mew, they get a Compressor. That's not good. They can get rid of more attackers. They could be playing Espeon Deoxys. That would be very bad if they are playing Espeon Deoxys. Okay, they attach. They're not going to Espeon Deoxys me then because they can't attach a Psychic Energy. So we don't have to worry about getting Cross Division if they are playing that. Cross Division is a little scary. Okay, we'll see what they do here. What attackers are they playing that they can get rid of? They can do Wailord Card, but they also need five energy. Okay, they yeah, they're going to go Kingdra. I figured they'd go Kingdra. Kingdra's fine. There's a Nessa. Honestly, I could just try to KO them with Mill Tank here instead of going for the Mew. It is possible. I need two Mill Milks and a Choice Band, so it is possible to KO the Mew. I might prefer to do that, actually, because if I use Mew, we could get KO by Articuno, and then they get two prizes. That won't matter too much, I don't think, though. We have to still knock out another two prize or take two more prizes after the Mewtwo, though, so we still have a bit of a ways to go to win. Okay, how much energy do they have? Just three, hopefully. Towering Splash would be a little annoying, but not the end of the world, though, because they are they only get one prize, so it's not even that good. It's kind of a mid-attack. They got four energy. Cool. So, either going to KO with Mew or KO with Mill Tank. We'll see how that goes. Here we draw. Boat Stone. Alright. I'm pretty sure I have um, Crobat in the deck. I, I don't remember if I do, to be honest. But we'll see. I don't have Crobat. Yeah, okay, I'm a dummy. I don't have it in the deck. We have to try to go for the KO with Mill Tank then. Yeah, no, I thought I did Crobat in the deck. Always pay attention to your prizes. Now, actually, if I don't get a supporter here, we're screwed. Okay, good. That was way too close. I can still KO them. I mean, I have to draw a DC Choice Band and two Moo Moo Milks, but it's possible. Oh, 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 no, we didn't get there. I didn't give him any energy at all. Big fat rip. Off the sacrifice Mew. Damn, that sucks. Okay, that's fine. I can go Vulpix here. This is that was a big whiff though, I'm not gonna lie. That's a really big whiff. They can attack with Articuno now if they really wanted to. Which is pretty bad. I'll just do Beacon, I guess. That was a pretty bad whiff. Yeah, no, I thought I had Crub on the deck. Why did I, like, bro? I know someone's going to comment that and be like, you didn't have it in the deck. I'm like, I know, bro. I know. I'm from the future. I know I didn't have it in the deck. Okay, well, Beacon. I have one energy left. Oh, no. Shoot. Oh, we might just lose then. Because I have to KO the Mewtwo, but then I have to KO another... I... Man, if they if they KO with Articuno here, I get one prize. If I don't get the energy off my prizes, I do probably just lose. I'll be completely out of energy. So we got to hope they go Mewtwo here. Okay, it looks like they're going to attack me with Towering Splash. They need 8 energy, though. And they currently have 5. They Towering Splash, they'll take 2 prizes, which isn't even that bad. Though I kind of want Ninetales to stay alive. So I can do, you know, my ability. But we'll see what happens. Okay, there's Crobat. Now I can win by killing Mewtwo and Crobat. I need to kill the Mewtwo this turn, though, if I'm going to win the game. And good thing they did attach to it, because it opens the door to it. Okay, I definitely played kind of poorly here. Um... I thought I had Crobat, though. Okay, Order Pad. It does get Hedge. Okay, that's really annoying. Compressor, though. I don't think they get anything big off Compressor. I guess now they can discard energy for Superior Retrieval, though. Which is what they're most likely getting. 
It's fine. We got 14 cards left. Whitney, we got nine tails. They're probably going to hit me with a... Uh, they're probably going to hit me with the towering splash, though. I imagine that's what they're trying to do here. Hmm. Oh, they get rid of eggs. Two energy. Okay. Do they have the play here to knock me out? And take out... Or do towering splash, anyways. We'll see. If they KO my mill tank, we'd have to Raihan with Mew, which is fine. We're going to have to rely on Raihan at some point. Right? How many Via Seekers? We got two left. It's not even a big deal. There's Palkia. Zero Vanish. Eh, they could Zero Vanish me here, I guess. Then I have to do Raihan. But I still have the knockout because I can go Nine Tails plus Choice Band. Unless I put a Fighting Fury Belt on. Unless I draw like a really good card, though, then maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. I do have an energy in there, right? Yeah, I should. Yeah, okay, good. So if they do Zero Vanish me, which it looks like that's what they're trying to do. If they do Zero Vanish, though, they don't have Towering Splash, which is actually pretty good. Yeah, I, I think they're going to zero vanish me here. Get my light energy out of the deck. But then I'm going to drop a Raihan and then Nine Tails on them. And we have two outs to Nine Tails. So they can't they can't KO uh, both and, you know, stop my Nine Tails. So no matter what, I get access to Nine Tails here. Yeah, okay. They're going to reset my energy. That's fine. But now they don't have Tyrant Splash, which is really good. All right. We'll promote my low tick. We should promote Nine Tails. Or full picks. All right. What are we top deck? Okay. Big draw. Big, big, big draw. All right, I'll go nine tails here. We'll grab... What do I have to grab again? Moo Moo Milk and... I'm kind of down to grab Stretcher, to be honest. I think I want Via Seeker, though, for next turn. We'll go for the KO here with... Uh... We'll take the Knockout Milk Tank. Throw Raihan. Go here. Got that DC. Really good my opponents letting me knock out this Mewtwo. Because I need to knock this out to get those energy out of the prizes. Get rid of this. We don't need it anymore. And I got nothing in the deck, but I want to just burn that. And then we'll mill cannon for 270. We need to get at least a few DCs off the prizes here to win the game. We'll see how it goes. They can't kill. They could. Well, Articuno. They'd have to get super lucky. That's why Going Mew here would have been risky. Because they kill with Articuno, they get two prizes. All right. There's a DC. Good. DC number two. Our shadow. Oh, we only got one DCE. That's fine. I get the other one of the prizes, though. We have a one in two chance. So they go Articuno. They might not even get a KO with Articuno. And if they don't knock me out here, I just have Guzma for game. And again, my opponent cannot disrupt my hand whatsoever. They cannot play, you know, they they can't enter via, they can't enter Marnie me here to get rid of my hand. So, I mean, if they don't knock me out, we just have game with Via Seeker on their Crobat or Milt or Palkia. I think we got him. I think we got him. Despite, okay, so Crobat and Energy are our last two prizes, I'm pretty sure, right? Yep, last two prizes is Crobat and a DCE. But I think we got him. I don't know if they can KO with Articuno here. If they went Palkia, obviously, I'd KO them again. All right, Chilling Side, that's game. We got him. Boom, we did it. Let's go. I have Guzma in there, right? I'm just making sure. Oh, yeah, it's in there. Be a seeker for Guzma. And just like that, the Moo Moo Milk Mil Tank deck takes a dub versus Archie's Blastoise, which is a pretty terrifying matchup, to be honest. When, you know, you're playing a deck that doesn't... I mean, it's not a slow setup deck, but the setup is a little iffy. But yeah, we'll take that KO and we'll take the dub. And that'll be that for this video. I'm going to leave you guys with a few stream games I got with the deck. This deck is so cool. I love this deck. I love my low tick. I think my low tick is a really, really busted card in Expanded. There's probably really like other good ways. I know there's an Indeedee, my low tick deck, that was actually doing pretty well. So there's definitely a lot of ways to make my Loktic work in Expanded. I actually think there is a lot of untapped potential in Expanded with my Loktic. But that'll be it for the video, guys, on my Mill Tank, my Loktic deck. This deck is so fun to play. It might not be the best broken BDIF of Expanded, but it is still a ton of fun to play the deck regardless. And uh, definitely give it a try. And uh, that'll be it for the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you got a new channel, subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 25 thousand subs check out car cabin use code aldf check out my twitch my twitter and my discord make sure to follow my twitch down below i'm trying to get uh five thousand followers on twitch before a billion stars comes out all right peace out hope you guys have a good day bye bye what yo i don't have milk realized i have a good idea but i don't have milk i i i don't i'm not a milk drinker i don't have milk in my fridge downstairs now we have cream but not milk yo i was gonna say if i record a video on milk tank bro i just drink milk the whole time the play Blah Metal Saucer. Yeah, exactly. Because Thorn Shield gave us E-Switch Saucerization.
which was bonkers. Oh, uh, we have Marshadow, though. Maybe. Maybe. All right, watch this, chat. Grab Compressor. All right, Marshadow is in the deck. Good. The compressor weighs... Oh, I priced a Whitney. Not like this. Damn it, I priced a Whitney. That's fine. Still drawing us a bunch of four cards, right? Easy. Not bad. Uh, I can't attack with Marshadow just yet, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. If I had if I had milk downstairs, I could just bring a big thing of milk and drink it while I'm playing. You know how I usually drink coffee during my videos? I could just drink milk instead, bro. It'd be a great meme. But I don't got milk. All right, we're at the Crobat next turn. I don't really want to lose Feebas. Gonna get a, another... Get a Ditto. We'll Crobat next turn, and then go from there. Try to get the KO on the Pika. We need to get a Milk Tank in the discard. We need to get a Milk Tank in the discard and another Moomoo Moo Milk. Are they going to do the job for me? Why, thank you. Ditto stays alive. I can use Stretcher for Nine Tails, right? Pretty good. Same amount of cards for each Whitney and discard. There, You could also play Roxy instead of Whitney, obviously. But you got to play Whitney for the memes because it goes with the theme of the deck. Actually, I don't want to Stretcher for Nine Tails. I'm going to need my March Shadow to take out the Dracosil. Oh, they just pass. They just gave me a free gust. How generous. I'll just get rid of Raihan here. It's fine. We need, obviously, we can't get rid of the Moo Moo Milk, bro. Maybe I should have Floatstone the Milk Tank, actually. I don't know. All right. We did draw a choice. Maybe if I can get enough cards, maybe I can take him out. Let's play Whitney. Uh, no, we didn't get any energy. Damn. We're not going to get the attack. That's fine. I got Marshadow, though. No energy, because I had Raihan. Ooh. Get rid of this. Grab Coco. And then, yeah, there is a Vesquin that got printed in the next set after Brilliant Stars that plays, that does the exact same thing, but with honey instead of moo moo milk. So basically, what other decks are you going to show us tonight? Probably just the uh, the two decks we played, Metagross and Miltank, the MM challenge. Metagross deck was a ton of fun, though. I, I had a lot of fun playing that. It was a fun deck to play. We'll try Quatch Cinderace sometime, too. Yeah, 60 times, exactly. Okay, if they go for the Tag Bolt here, they are, yikes. I, I have to KO here, or we're going to get destroyed by a Tag Bolt. All right, here we go. Compressor top deck. Oh, that's good. That helps a little bit. I can't play Raihan. I have to just Whitney and pray. We have the Whitney and Prey. Oh, no. Here we go, chat. Whitney and Prey. Can we get there? I don't know. Get rid of Field Blower, I guess. I don't know. Thin the deck out a little bit. I need Compre I need Moo Moo Milks and Compressors. I'm not drawing a lot of cards, though, which is pretty bad. I'll spell again. I don't want to get rid of anything, though. All right, Whitney and Prey. No, I didn't get a Compressor. Wait, no, I got Nine Tails. I got the KO. We got him, chat. Nine tails. See, nine tails is so good in here. It's so good in here. Let's go compressor milk, right? Compressor here. We get rid of one energy, I think, right? We're only we only need one energy. All white, all white, all white. See, I told you Nine Tails is insane, chat. And then I think I just attack. Haha, -ha, your Pika Rom cannot stand up to a Moo Moo Milk. 
You trash decks? Not always. Not always. Depends on what the deck idea is. But no, most of the time, not really. Okay, there's our last. We don't need win anymore, though. Ribozo just got smoked. As long as my opponent doesn't KO me here, we should be fine. If they play a Dracozil plus triple energy, they can knock me out. But that'd be terrible. I doubt they play that. Couldn't stand the milk. I actually couldn't. Could not stand the milk. Who Dracozil? I agree. Let's go VMAX here. We win. I might retreat Marshadow into Mew, actually, and just, like... I can't attack again. I have Ryan. Uh, I don't know. What? Yo, don't knock me out. Okay, good. Aha, Rebozo. And before play Moo Moo Milk, not even gonna happen, chat. Don't even put that in my mind. Imagine that, chat. We play the Moo Moo Milk to heal, and then we punish ourselves by healing. Insane. Okay, there's Raihan, which is good. That's what I like about this deck, too. You can chain Raihan. Because you built up a big hand with my low tick. You just chain Raihans. This is why I like this build more than the Mew build. All right, we just smoked him. And there's that last Moo Moo Milk. Take it home, our shadow. Take it home. Let's go. Bear damage. That's what I like to see, bro. The Marshadow Moo Moo Milk sweep. This is why I like this build more than the Mew D Valley build. The Nine Tails came in so clutch there. Nine Tails was insane. Nine Tails what got us the win. Yeah, 480 just absolutely bodied. Yeah, I like this build more than the uh, Mew build. I don't know. In fact, if you're gonna play the Mew the Mew build, just play Mew Box instead of you know Melting. I don't know. We got him. All right, let's see what our thing is. All right, it's a pretty good start. I can comp search for a uh, battle compressor, which is pretty good. I can even beacon. What are we playing tonight? Yo, what up, head? But we were playing Quad Metagross, which was really good, and now we're playing Mill Tank in Expanded. Kind of now listening, but playing Arceus. Did you make changes to the Metagross deck? Nah, we kept the list the same. It was pretty good, though. We did go on that 11 win streak and stuff, so it was pretty good. Reshizard, 270 HP, easy one shot. They play Heat Energy, though, because of course they do. They always got it, bro. Two boss are down. That's what I like to see. Let's boss have the better. His hand is gas. Okay, cool. Nice. There's the mill tank. Grab compressor here. Okay. The gang's all here. Coco's in the deck. Oh, no. I prized two Moo Moo Milks. That's not good. Rip. F in the chat. Two Moo Moo Milks are prized. Fine. No big deal. Who needs Moo Moo Milk anyways, chat? Not me, totally. Uh oh, I didn't get any Moo Moo Milks there. Just ultra ball for Feebass. Now, they're not going to Barney me because then they can't knock me out. So that would just be kind of silly. Billy Billy. Make sure we get Feebass in play, though. I guess they could boss it, but they're down to boss. They don't play boss. I should probably save the mail for next turn. Yeah. I need to get a pivot, though. Let's try to get... Pokeball. There's a Moo Moo Milk. I could do Coco here. Yeah, let's just do this. Gap compressor. I do want to get the milk. Yeah, we need the milk. Yeah, we do. It's fine, though. I can just do this. Set up the Coco Prism. We have to two shot them, right? Because we did prize our Moo Moo Milk. I think this is all I really want. I might get rid of the Mar Shadow. I don't really think we're going to use that. Yeah, it's fine. Pop Coco now. They can't boss KO Mill Tank because they can't welder. They'd have to rope or something. And we can beacon. I can get Crobat. We do Crobat next turn. Draw a couple cards. We have my low tick in our hand. Alright. That's fine. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Nah, we got Whitney though. Whitney. Whitney carries. They scoop. What? Why would you concede, bro? Alright, I'm liking this, though. How much is a Jolteon V and VMAX? Fuller code worth? I'm not sure. I haven't bought one before. On that. Where would we be without Crobat? Yeah, Crobat is a savior, bro. Absolute savior of the expanded format. 
Crabat's a god. Absolute god. You want mine in Flareon too? Do you have any spare? Yeah, if you have the spare codes, I would be I'd be down, Needeth. I'd be down. I don't have a play set of the alt arts. If you want to donate them, that'd be I'd be down for that. You bought on eBay up for four? That's not bad then. They did drop in price. It used to be expensive. I remember that. I do remember when they used to be a bit expensive. But that was that's because they weren't fully out yet. Okay, this hand is pretty good. Another fire deck. Okay, this hand is good. Kind of. Good hand. Hopefully no Moo Moo Milk surprised. Sounds good, Needeth. I appreciate that. I might revisit Flareon soon. Yo, they mulligan three times. It's a Mewtwo Mew deck. Oh, they have Naganadel. Uh-oh. Mewtwo Mew, though. We got maybe Mew, so we should be fine. Most of your decks are from your vids. Your good decks. I appreciate that, zombie. There's the Milk. The Milk Lad. Another Milk Lad. All right, this hand is pretty good. We can go Compressor. All right, what do we got? Uh, Coco's in the deck. All our Moo Moo Milks are there. Whitney's all there. I'll go... Whitney and Energy. I can bench this. Mail. And then I can quick ball this way, Whitney away. Grab Feebas. I kind of want to get Baby Mew, though. I think I'll play Hand Disruption. I'll grab Mew. And I'll compress her next turn with Computer Search. All the Whitney's, all the milks in your set? They actually are. Whitney is the perfect card to play. It's not bad. I mean, Roxy is theoretically kind of better, but Roxy, you have to discard Pokemon with. At least with Whitney, you don't have to do that. The benefit of Roxy, though, is you can play Weezing, which can help you uh, against ADP with a choice band. But I like the Whitney build a little bit more. Exactly, iPod. Yeah. I, I mean, Wh Roxy and Whitney both have their benefits and negatives, in my opinion. Bent Spoon? That's fine. All right, they're stuck. Ooh, that was a nuts top deck. I can get Compressor, or I can get Floatstone. Ooh. Oh, one Moo Moo Milk, though. I got nine tails. Okay. We have the knockout. How many Lenny's in the discard? Just one. Get compressor. Okay. Hold on, chat. We got this. So, Egg. Gladian Energy. Yep. Yeah. Right. And then I drop Coco Prism. And I play it. Go 1-1. One, one. Let me attach. I Do I have Floatstone in the deck? I don't even remember. I guess we're going to find out. I guess we're going to find out. I should have it, right? I never prized Floatstone. Oh, totally, bro. Then I can computer search for the last... Because I don't think... We're going to need my low tick, to be honest. Like, I don't think they're going to KO it. We can get... Well, we have a ranger, actually. Yeah, that seems fine. Get that last Moo Moo Milk. Yeah, let's go. Floatstone. Retreat. Bench Mew. Take a KO. The only problem is I didn't get a uh, Feebas down for my low tick, but I don't think they play a way to stop my low tick. You know? Yeah, Gladian, we need to play. I, it's better than Peonia, because sometimes you don't even get the thing you want with Peonia. But yeah, now Gladian's the way to go. Yeah, and then we just KO. Easy dubs. They knock me out, I just try to hit with Mew. I don't have a way to find DC, though. I could get Harry, but we'll see. Do they have an attack? Are they bricking? Yo, don't be bricking. That's kind of sad they're bricking. No, dude. I don't have game just yet. I still need to get a few things to win this. If I get one Moo Moo Milk, I win. If I rip one Moo Moo Milk, I win. I'll get rid of the Milo tick in the thing. I'll grab a filler card. I guess we should just grab Feebas just in case. I don't know. Let me play Whitney. We draw a billion cards. We just need one Moo Moo Milk to win. And we got it. Let's go. And then we go Choice Band, Milk Cannon. We actually didn't get um DC there, so we couldn't have won with Mew. Let's go! 270 damage, baby. Let's go. See, why Choice Band is so good. Rip Bows. Yes. Insane deck. Broken, bro. It's I love it, bro. The turn two, 270. 